Hey, this is day 17 of the Summer of Wonder, and I feel so much better than I did yesterday. Amazing what a good night's sleep in a cozy little cabin will do for your perspective and your energy level. Lexi and I are in Red Lodge, Montana, which is amazing, and we are setting out this afternoon to do some hiking and back to the campground. Not sure where we're gonna end up yet tonight, but somewhere in the Beartooth Mountains, no doubt. It is spectacular. Come along for the ride and make sure you're a YouTube subscriber to our channel, Wonderbing Travel, so that you can follow along with every day of our epic trip. We are just about right in the middle. So lots has happened, but so much more to come. So come along for the ride. Day 17, let's go. taken us till 2 30 this afternoon but we are finally leaving town at least for now i have a feeling we're not quite done with red lodge yet i don't feel like i gave it it's fair shake there because we were so doggone tired i just bought bear spray just feel like it's the thing to do and i should be careful it just makes me feel better i don't expect to need it it's like an umbrella but better to have than not have i know that there are more definitely more black bears around. And I also made a stop at Beartooth Books. Beartooth Books is adorable. It was one of the stores that I uh, solicited to do an event and they were not interested. They were just too busy. So I thought I would stop in and see if they were interested in stocking the book. And for now it's not a no. So you never know what you don't ask for. Um, the bookstore is charming and I really feel like there's wonder around the bend could definitely have a home there. And now we are off to, well, we are off in search of a home for the evening for a campground. I have had a few different suggestions from people. I decided I, I just don't want to make a massive effort today. So we're going out of town, but not that far. We're not going all the way up into the pass and the mountains. There's no rush. So we may just, there's plenty to do here for a few days. So if we find a good spot, we may just stick around. So let's go. Okay, I think I may have found heaven. There is a white golden out there who is, must be shepherd. Oh, there's another one. Oh, God bless them. They're shepherding the goats. This is the side of a mountain and there are just goats everywhere. <gasps> Look, Lex. Unless that's a Pyrenees, I don't think so. Nope. Oh my gosh, there's baby goats, there's big goats. Oh, I see you, buddy. Not a bad afternoon drive. We're going the opposite way on Beartooth Pass. We're not going all the way up, at least that's not my plan. So hopefully we're going to find a great place to camp and hike, preferably without bears. Lex and I are hanging out in a little lake at the bottom, towards the bottom of Bear Tooth Pass. And I'm sitting here and I realize that the road going up is right here. And it starts and goes all through the mountains. But then I noticed that, and you won't get the perspective here unless a car goes by. But when you get closer to the top of the road, it's up here. So we're on this little creek and there's this cute little dam that I don't know who built it, it's charming. And guess who is in the water, which is absolutely frigid. So Lex and I have finally found our home for the night. We are in the Beartooth, but not really that far outside of Red Lodge. My Airbnb host had suggested this road. So there's two national forest campgrounds. We scoped them both out, the first one didn't have a site that looked nice. The second one had one. We weren't really sure, but we kept on going to the dispersed campground where my Airbnb host suggested, and it was really beautiful. But you know what, guys? I never felt settled. Campsite view, Custer National Forest. Okay, we're all set up. And it's been a bit of an afternoon, so I'm gonna have a glass of wine and feel good about it. <gasps> absolutely. So it's getting a little chilly this evening. I know it's gonna be absolutely cold tonight. 
Today was definitely a little different and I'm sharing from the perspective of maybe it will be helpful to you as you consider travel for yourself um, and um, whether it's camping or just travel. So today was not perfect. <laughs> not No day is perfect, but today was not perfect. Today we had, um, you know, an afternoon that was kind of unsettling. Um, the short version is that Lexi was attacked by another dog. She's not hurt. It was very scary. Um, the dog came running through the campground, not where we're staying, but another one where we were thinking about staying and uh, first ignored her and then just jumped on her and bared her teeth and started like really trying to grab her and um, thankfully did not puncture her skin in any way. So I can't believe it because it was, it took a long time to separate them. And now I have, you know, I have a sis of a dog. While I know she would defend me, um, she is now really nervous. <laughs> and so uh, it was, um, we've had sort of a rough afternoon and evening because she's just, um, it definitely bothered her, of course, as it would. And of course it bothered me but I, she's going to be fine, so that's a good thing. Um, and then the, that same campground where I was trying to be brave and stay in this dispersed camping area, it was such a beautiful sight. It was alongside this magnificent creek roaring down the mountain, and then that happened. Um, we hadn't set up yet. It was just thinking about it. We were just going for a walk, and I wanted to think about it for a few minutes. And then that happened, and then I got back to the campground, and I really started to look around the site, and I noticed just massive bear claws down, scratched down the trees all through the site. And I was like, you know what? I, I know people stay here all the time and it's not a big deal. I'm just not okay with it. And the combination of those two things and we ditched. And so we're literally about two miles down the road or Custer National Forest at one of the you know, national forest campground. So I have a campground host who's right next door. I, I just wasn't quite up for all the things tonight. So it's still magnificent. It's still beautiful. Um, I have a roaring fire and um, yeah, so God is good. What a blessing that the day turned out the way it did. Um, I am eager for another day tomorrow. There's just, there is, there's wonder around the bend. There's also weirdness. There's also the unexpected. I just, in the end, went with my gut again. So there's a lot of that going on on this trip. I'm in really unchartered territory for me on some level. I'm in new places, which is fine. I am a country girl, but I am not mountain. I have great respect for what goes on out here. I'm probably pretty timid compared to local people. I'm taking baby steps towards making inroads in that area, but I have to do what works for me. So all is well. It is a good evening now. Lexi's finally settled down and she's curled up next to the tent ready to go to bed. And I'm gonna sit here by this fire until I just get too cold to stay outside. A few surprises along the way. But we're in our happy place now with a beautiful campsite alongside a rushing stream. And, you know, what could be better? Reading about where we're going to hike tomorrow. It is all good. So that's it. That's a wrap on day 17. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel and you like us on anything you see on Instagram. I'm posting reels there. So not just all the long form video, um, we're halfway done with our trip, the summer of wonder, road trip through the Rockies and we are definitely in the Rockies. So until tomorrow.